Now, in the previous training video, we learned how to accept, reject, or mark as tentative meeting invites, which as a shortcut you can do when you're in the inbox, just right click on it, and you can accept, tentative, or decline it. And if you want to edit the response before you send it, it'll become available after you click on it. There you go, edit response before sending. Go ahead and select that. I'm going to click cancel. But what's not available when you right click is the option to propose a new time. To be able to do that, let's double click to open it up. And in the respond group, there it is, propose new time. Click on the drop down arrow. And you can mark it as tentative saying I might be able to make it, in which case if you select this option, it will schedule it on your calendar with an understanding that you might not be able to make it. And then you can propose a new time or you can decline it all together, not have it scheduled on your calendar and propose a new time. Let's go ahead and mark it as tentative, propose new time. And if you're connected to the Microsoft Exchange server, you'll be able to see over here, well, this is the time that she blocked, blue, is busy, and it's Friday, October the 5th. Let's go ahead and click the date picker and see if she's available on Wednesday, October the 3rd. Updates it, jumps over, and it's from 4 to 7. I didn't update that, so it's the same time. And I don't see anything there except it is shaded, and the lighter shade of gray are the non-working times. Remember, the default working hours in Outlook are from Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And I'll show you how you can change that in a later training video. But for right now, let's say that we're okay with this. Or in my proposed time, I'm hoping that she's okay doing this towards the end of the working day and after working hours. So I can go ahead and click on proposed time. Opens up a message. There's the current time where it's at and the proposed time that I'm suggesting here. And then down below, you can type in whatever message you want. Like, hey, this just works better for me. And then the subject, of course, is new time proposed. So she'll know. And when she opens it up, she'll be able to see and compare what the original versus the proposed is. So let's go ahead and click send, and away it goes. And then, because we marked it as tentative, it's going to be scheduled on our calendar. Let's go to the calendar here, come up, click in the date navigator on the month slash year, hold it down, and go past it to scroll to October 2018. And there it is. It's scheduled, but those lines mean that it's tentative. So with an understanding, you might not be able to make it. But if you can, well, you got the information here. So let's go ahead and go back to our inbox in the mail folder and see what it looks like when she accepts the proposed time. There we go. Let's go ahead and double click to open it up. OK, so the line through that date and time was the original. And here's the new proposed time. And don't assume that because it's there that that's the original proposed time that you sent off because she can't actually change that. In fact, instead of what I proposed from 4 to 7, she can accept it and tweak it and say, okay, well, let's do from 3.55 to 6.55 p.m. So make sure you take a look at that and that you're okay with that. And if you are, you need to accept it because it doesn't automatically accept it for you even though you're the one that proposed it because, again, she can make changes to it. So that looks good. Go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow and see send the response now and then go back to the calendar to verify click on March 2018 roll past it to October 2018 and there we go no longer on a Friday it's now on a Wednesday double click to get the details and great and I can still propose a new time if I didn't like this one and flat out decline it and propose I mean you can keep doing this over and over again and until you get it right now, we've got the pumpkin carving that I invited Carrie to come and attend. Let's see what it looks like from our end when she proposes a new time. Let's go back to the inbox. And there we go. And you can see it says this time works better. And you got the X means that she declined it. So let's go ahead and double click. And you can see down below, Carrie has declined to propose a new time for this meeting. So the current, or the original time, is Thursday, October the 4th. And then the proposed is just a little over a week. October the 12th from 4 to 5. So I can come up here in the respond group and go ahead and accept it or I can view all proposals which for some reason is not working in Outlook 2016. In my previous training video in Outlook 2013 when I clicked on it, it opened up automatically to the scheduling assistant here and it had a, a section up here that showed me all the proposals from all those who proposed a new time even if it's just one. In any case, it's not showing here. So let's go ahead and close out and double click to open it back up so I can get my respond back to accept the proposal. Go ahead and click on it. And then down here, I can type in whatever I want. Now remember, she gave me the proposal for Friday, October the 12th from 4 to 5. 
and I can go ahead and click send, but I can go ahead and tweak it here. That's why I'm saying don't assume that when they accept the proposal and you get it back that it hasn't been tweaked. So if I tweak a JIT from 401 to 501 and then click send update and away it goes, then on her end she's going to open it up and she's going to see a line just as we did crossed out through the old time with an orange the new time. And hopefully she doesn't assume that that new time is what she proposed. I accepted her proposal as it were, but I tweaked the time from which she could go ahead with that email that I just sent off to her and propose a new time that instead of doing it just one minute past the hour to actually do it on the hour. So we can be in this battle back and forth of proposing and accepting or not accepting proposal, but updating her proposal to a new time and even on a different day. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.